um, I did a, I, I, I had a um, post on Google Plus, and you know I thought it was pretty good. So I said I'm gonna do a video about it. It's just basically about um, natural hair and the law of attraction. Um, well, that's what my post was about. And I was just basically saying it, the, the the thing I was sharing it was like all oh, black women don't wear weave or wigs or something. It was like a black woman, excuse me, you know, a black woman. You know, I always throw the quotes, baby, because we gotta keep it real. You know, we gotta, you know, yeah, we have to keep it real. Okay, we aren't black. My shirt is black. I'm not. Okay, anyway, um, you know what I'm saying. Um, there's a black woman with a, with an afro, you know, we don't have to wear, you know, wigs, weeds, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I share and I'm like, you know, to my women, okay? Men, okay, I can bring it to the astrologics because that's my, that's my premise for most of my shit. Um, you got, you got Venus and you got Jupiter, all right? These represent your lower, um, feminine mind and your upper fem feminine mind, Okay? Okay, so Jupiter would be what a man loves. Venus would be what a man likes. Okay, now easy way for you to understand it would just you separate love and lust. We all we all know that concept. You know, lust ain't love and blah blah blah. Okay, lust would be equated to your Venus. Love would be equated to your Jupiter. And for those who know their charts and you know birth and you know uh, you know birth charts and things. And you know the uh, asteroids and comets, and that's in the, that's in the chart. What you want, what you would want to look at, would be Juno. Juno represents the the feminine, the higher feminine aspect of Jupiter. Okay, so all right. But the point was this: that the law of attraction is you get what comes to you. All right, that was a bad way to say it. What comes to you is what you are. All right, whatever you put out to the universe is what the universe brings back to you. Okay, now the law of attraction. If you go uh, just watch the, I mean, look at the book, The Secret. I think it's actually a movie too, and you know it was an Oprah book and all that. You know, The Secret is basically the law of attraction, and it's the law of um, the law of cause and effect, the Hermetic principle. You know, what you put in is what you get out. Everybody understand that. So how this how this relates to the to you know my my black women and you know me. I'm talking to a specific group of people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But ultimately this is a lesson for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Love yourself is, is the ultimate lesson. But what I'm saying is this. Now, black woman, you, right? Let's say you gonna throw on, you know, a wig, right? And some fake nails and cut your eyebrows off and write them hoes on there. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? You know, get you some lipstick or whatever, right? And you step out and, you know, you got the straight hair wig, you know, got your Nicki Minaj going. Your Mary J. Blige type shit, right? And, you know, you all pressed up, you know, and you looking good. Woo do woo, right? Now, men, we see that, you know, I'm telling you from a man's perspective, all right? We see that as you putting on a specific outfit because you looking for a specific man, okay? And that man is that man who wants some of that, okay? You understand? He wants what's under that outfit. You feel me? Like, that's the outfit you wear when you want to be sexy. I mean, okay? Like, you know, you know, Nicki Minaj is a sex symbol, right? You know, she got it from Lil' Kim and them. And they all had the same thing. Well, none of them rocking, like, no locks or no shit like that, right? Well, hold on. Did Foxy have locks? I don't think so. I don't think so. No Lauren Hill, right? But, you know, she wasn't out there shaking her ass and shit. Okay. So, anyway. Okay. So, this is a good... So, that's a good example. Like, Little Kim versus Lauren Hill. Like, Little Kim would be your Venus. Lauren Hill would be your Jupiter. Okay? So, what I'm saying is, when you put on these things... You take on this persona, and this persona to a man denotes sex and lust. You see, it's because you're you're putting on things, fake things, in order to to attract. You understand what I'm saying? People to these things or to you. But in, in, in actuality, we as men, we just looking at it like, oh, she got on that. I want some big outfit. <laughs> All right, I'll keep one honey with you. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
for my natural women, when you step out and you just rocking your, you know, whatever, your twists, your braids, your froze, you know what I'm saying? If you just want to pull your shit back in a, in a puff, right? Whatever. See, when, when, you, when we see that, we say, mm, she's not she's not attempting to look any particular way to get any particular nigga. She's just being herself. Now, a man, right? You got a man, you got a boy. A boy is out here looking for some... I mean, he looking for some nigga. He looking for... He looking for that outfit. Because he know the game to get into that outfit. You know what I'm saying? He has the tools to crack that code. You feel me? The materialistic things. You understand? So that's what he looking for. But a man... You understand what I'm saying? You, you know, a man is looking for a woman. Somebody he can sit down with. Somebody that can take care of. Somebody that can take care of his heart. You know what I'm saying? He can take care of hers. You know, a man want, a man needs to be loved. A man is only on this planet to be loved by a woman. Period. I don't give a fuck what none of you niggas say. I mean, niggas be like, money this, money that. Motherfucker. What you gonna do with the money? You gonna go get you a nice house and a nice car and then go do what? Go find you a fucking woman. Get out of my face. Like, you know, <laughs> I, I don't I don't listen to the to this dumb shit. So anyway, a man's a man's job, a man's goal. Gold, gold is, a, is, is something we shouldn't be using. Gold means jail, etymologically. So that's something we need to. That's a word we need to discard from our vocabulary. Okay. So a man's uh, plan, a man's wishes, a man wills to be loved. You understand what I'm saying? So when he sees a woman, right? Listen to what I'm saying. When he sees a woman who loves herself enough to the point where she don't feel like she gotta add on fake shit just to get approval from other people, cause she don't feel she need approval from nobody. She look good to herself. She woke up like this. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No makeup, no nothing. Just just whatever. Do this and say, fuck it. I'm finna go to the grocery store. You understand what I'm saying? Now, of course, you know, we're gonna take a bath and all that other shit. You know, we ain't trying to say. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My my the beauty like that is beautiful to me. You know, a woman who just step out and she got on some goddamn, you know, some sleeper pants, you know, some old baggy sleeper pants and a shirt. You know, with her hair wrapped, and she just going to the store. That's sexy. You understand what I'm saying? That's sexy. Like, you know, because it, it's no effort. You know, I didn't. she didn't put no extra effort in trying to look good for, for whoever or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? The point is this. When a man see a woman who loves herself, and he feels as though it's okay and it's safe for him to give her his heart for her to love him. Because she obviously knows how to love. Now, when you when she when we see the you know the wigs and the press on let nails and woo, woo, we say, oh well, she don't love herself. How the fuck she gonna love me? You can't put no wig on me to make everything all right. <laughs> all right. So ultimately, is what I'm saying is love yourself if you're trying to attract a man to love you. Now, if you're just trying to get your neck, <laughs> keep on what you're doing. Peace and love. Take it easy.